You might have heard the name, you might have seen the face. You might have even seen large posters with I'm Gauri written on it a few years back. But do you know her story? In this video, let us dive deeper into the life and work of Gauri Lankesh. Gauri Lankesh was born on 29 January 1962 in a prominent family of journalists and media publishers. She is the daughter of writer, poet, journalist and filmmaker Palya Lankesh. Her brother Indrajit and sister Kavita are also filmmakers. Her father was a publisher of a weekly tabloid named Lankesh Patrika. The independent Canada language magazine did not accept any advertisements and was sponsored solely by subscriptions. Gauri began her career in journalism by working with the Times of India in Bangalore. After a few years, she moved to Delhi with her husband Chindanand Rajkata. Soon after, she moved back to Bangalore where she worked with the Sunday magazine as a correspondent for 9 years. She was an unwavering voice in Indian journalism. She was not just a journalist but an empathetic human and a committed human rights activist. She traveled extensively to report news from the grassroots level. Moreover, she also used to speak on the issue of religion and specific organizations. She spoke against the Hindutva groups that wanted to take over the syncretic Datta Pita shrine in Chikmagalore. She was vocal about the sexual harassment case filed against Sir Raghaveshwar Bharati in 2014. In a 2017 article, Langesh criticized the attack of politicians on journalists and the bashing of the media using parliamentary privilege. She was also an open critic of the caste system in India and used to speak against this issue extensively. On the evening of September 5th, 2017, when Lankesh was returning back home from work, she was approached by a man whose face was obscured by his helmet. As she ran towards her home, she was shot by the man and she collapsed about 10 feet away from her home. The police security cameras and autopsy reports suggested that Two other men followed her and she was shot four times. The bullet pierced Lankesh, resulting in her death, and the killers escaped the site shortly after. According to her lawyer, as reported in the hoot, the killing was a sinister and pre-planned attack by Hindu terror units. Her assassination made her visible everywhere as thousands of people bid a tearful farewell to her. Various protests and vigils broke throughout the country and many people took to the streets carrying posters proclaiming I am Gauri. 17 of the 18 suspects were arrested and have been in judicial custody since. They included mastermind Amola Kail, the shooter Parashuram Bakmore and others. Soon after her demise, her work was posthumously granted the Anna Politkovsky Award named in honor of a Russian journalist who was assassinated in 2006 in Moscow. In 2018, the reputed international body for press freedom, Reporters Without Borders, honored Lankesh with a stay in the French city of Bay in recognition of her service to journalism. Last year, the city of Bernabéu in Canada decided to officially observe Gauri Lankesh Day on September 5 every year. It is not difficult to understand why people reacted to her murder in this manner. As her struggles, her life as a journalist and her death was connected to a larger reality, the apparent serial assassination of the critics of Hindutva. Her murder was highlighted as an example of the support that the government has enabled to the attackers of civil society, feminism and human rights. Her assassination is not only reflective of the miserable state of freedom of the press in India, but also brings forth the gender implications associated with journalism in the country. In a country where female journalists are particularly vulnerable to online harassment, abusive phone calls and death threats almost on a daily basis, it is not difficult to understand that Lankesh might have been perceived by her killers first as an outspoken woman and then as a threat to them and their politics. In the murder case of Lankesh, the bail application of Mohan Nayak, a primary suspect, was turned down by the principal district civil and sessions court in Bangalore. Mohan was accused of providing shelter to the alleged masterminds of the murder. Gauri Lankesh will always be remembered as a courageous woman who stood up for what she believed in and did not give up on the stereotype of being a woman journalist in this patriarchal society.